Hello, greetings, beautiful people, and thank you for coming to today's Movement Medicine Morsel. We're going to play a little bit with feet, honoring our feet, feeling our feet and our ankles. They give us so much support, and I know a lot of you have questions about improving balance, so this will help. And then we'll have the opportunity for a full body flow that includes uh, my favorite starfish and twisting lunging movements. So welcome. Let's begin by sitting nice and tall, wherever you are. Be aware of your feet. Know that they get a little special attention today. Plant your feet, feel them, feel what they feel. And also plant the so-called feet of your pelvis. Rock a little bit from side to side, feel your sit bones. And settle them so that you are aware of an even weight through both of them contacting your chair seat. Let's lift the shoulders up. We have a nice foundation. Lifting the shoulders up and stretching the side seams. Exhale, allow the shoulders to relax and keep the side seams long. Inhale up and exhale lower. We're encouraging the breath bringing awareness to our breath and lower. And now a little bit of circling. Inhale, take the shoulders up, roll them back. This opens the chest. Exhale, lower them and glide them forward. This stretches the upper back. And now just enjoy the movement. Inhale up and slightly back. Exhale down and forward. Let your breath enjoy the movements we're changing the shape of the body to optimize our breathing. And to loosen things up a little bit more, let's let one shoulder have a solo. Inhale up and back. Exhale down and forwards. And this is where the other solo comes for the other shoulder. Inhale up and back. Exhale down and forwards. Continue doing this one shoulder at a time and see if you feel a little natural rotation that comes. Allow any other body parts that wish to move along with to do so. This should be about the last one finishing off and then just settle that down. Bring the fingertips just to the base of the skull and press up slightly. And as we exhale, bring the elbows towards one another and curve, point the elbows towards the knees. Inhale, come up, press up lightly at the base of the skull and fan the elbows back. And a couple more of these. Flow gently, no strain, just joy, pleasure, ease. Making sure that your breath flows smoothly. Let's do one more opening up. And exhale, come to vertical, relax. So now we have a long neck, a long spine. And I don't know what Facebook is doing with these close-ups, but I'm gonna move back a little bit. I don't seem to have any control about this, but I want you to see my feet. I'm even going to turn the camera, turn a little bit down. So we can work with our feet in a seated position. Good, oh, further back. You don't need to see my face, but you do need to see my feet. All right, we're sitting beautifully, our feet are planted. Let's inhale and lift both heels and exhale, lower them down. Really let the legs rest. Inhale, the heels lift and exhale, they lower. Inhale, they lift and exhale, they lower and relax. Slide the feet a little further out in front, but still nicely seated on your chair. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower them. And now inhale, pull up the toes. Exhale, put the feet flat. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower them. And inhale, pull the tops of the feet up. We'll do this another couple of times. So inhale when you either lift the heels, exhale when the feet are flat. And we're also inhaling when we lift the toes. Let's do this one more time, inhaling, exhaling down, inhaling, lifting, and exhaling, lowering. 
Let's take a moment, see how your ankles feel. And let's reach down and support one thigh and circle that foot. If you like, you don't have to use the hands, but that's a harder work for the, the thighs. And then circle in the opposite direction. You want to take your time and as much as possible, relax your thigh into your hands. And then lean out, shake that leg, shake it out from your hip, release, release, release. And then see what that foot feels like. Breathe, remember to sit tall. Let's do the same with the other leg. We're lifting up a little bit. You can lean over a bit. You want to lift the hands up and let the thigh really sit on the saddle. And three or four. Remember, you can take a break. Maybe you can find another way to circle your ankles. That's fine too. And then second direction. Finish by leaning away and just giving that leg a really loose shake, 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 shake. And then see how your feet feel. Notice how your ankles feel. Maybe you're more aware, maybe it's the same. And whatever you're feeling, allow that to register and notice whatever it is. Now, there's a lovely technique of cupping the feet, but I know not everybody can reach your feet, or sometimes there are times in your life when you can't bend over. It's your back, it's something else. So stick one foot out, and we're going to use the other foot for some treatment. So use the heel of the foot and just rub gently. You might want to start with the groove between the big toe that goes up into the foot. You might even want to adjust the heel and find those grooves between the other toes. So I'm working my way up and down, almost from the break of the ankle or the fold of the ankle down towards the toes. And then I'm making my way across the foot. And you, of course, can adjust the amount of pressure you like. And then step lightly down on each toe. You're just giving each toe a little squish as close to the toenail and front of the top of the toe as you can. And if you go from one toe, maybe from the big toe out to the baby toe, then you can make your way back, or maybe you started the other way. Now, one more time for this foot, the foot that's being squished and rubbed, we're going to roll it onto the outer edge. Make sure you're comfortable here. And we're going to use the other heel to just massage a bit into the arch. You may need to adjust a bit where your foot is and just do what you can. Also squish lightly down on the underside of each toe. And you can rub along the arch. You can even get in behind the ankle on the inside. If it works for you, you can come around and get around the ankle on the outside. This is being creative. And then pièce de résistance, you take your big toe and your index, index toe, second toe, and you slide the back of your Achilles in, and you can use the toes to just squeeze a little bit here. Feels quite nice, very gently. So we're scissoring the big toe and the second toe, just squeezing a little bit. And then let's relax. Move around a little bit if you wish. And the main thing is take a few moments to feel how is that one foot? One foot has now gotten a little bit more TLC than the other. Do you notice a difference? Is there a difference in your awareness? Do you notice things in other parts of your body? Those are just a couple suggestions. And of course, we're going to do this on the other side. So let's use the heel of the foot that just had its little treatment and begin to lovingly, it's like a big thumb, it's like a big shiatsu thumb. And because you're the one giving and receiving, you can adjust the pressure. And we're sliding up and down and moving our way across the foot so that we get to the outside of the foot and the inside of the foot. And then come back. You might be starting on the outside or the inside. So we go one way each time. And then a little bit of a squish just a little bit of pressing down with the heel on each one of the toenails, all of the meridians 
of the lower body express themselves either in a toe or the sole of the foot. So here we're actually treating the whole underside of the body and then lower side of the body. And then we're going to raise the sole of the foot up, make sure your ankle's comfortable. And then the other heel is going to press a little bit into the arch, maybe rub a little bit, maybe even twist a little bit. And then here, you'll probably be able to step down on the underside of each toe as well. And then we put the foot down and we use the heel to rub a little bit behind the ankle lovingly. You can use your eyes as well to look down. Take the foot across the front, no, behind the back works better. And you're rubbing with the top of the foot on the outside of the ankle, behind the ankle. And then you make your big toe and second toe into a little scissor and you slide the other skinny part of the back of the heel, the base of the Achilles, and you can squeeze and release a few times here. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. You can also rub up and down and then just gently relax, move things around, see how your feet feel. You can even do a little creative expression if you want to, just playing around. All right, take a moment and sit nice and tall. Notice your feet, notice their relationship to the ground. Remember, spine is tall, throat is long, breath is flowing. And we're going to come to standing. So shifting the weight forward, feeling your feet rising up. I'm going to adjust my camera so that you can see more of my body because the final flow we're going to do is for the whole body. I guess Facebook wants to optimize my close-ups. That's why they're giving me the new format. All right, we're stepping the feet open a little wider than the shoulders and notice your feet, even play with your toes here, play with your toes dig into your heels, let your knees be relaxed, and rock your hips a little bit from side to side. Actually, figure eight feels really nice. So we're feeling our feet, we're pressing with the feet, we're curling the toes, whatever you want to do. You can even let your hands get involved in it, your shoulders, <sighs> and just relax. And then a little bit more formal, we're going to lunge a little bit to one side, we're going to rise up, feel that coming right from the feet in the earth. We're lunging, feel the feet pressing into the ground, lunging. One more time, just feeling a nice buoyancy when you come up. And now we're going to lunge to the first side and we're going to rotate our torso, rest the opposite hand on the thigh. If you're comfortable going lower, you can always go down onto the forearm. And then the other hand is going to take a gentle sweep just where it's comfortable, no strain. You'll be in some form of rotation and turning the head and neck and letting the eyes see. Take a couple of relaxed breaths here, getting acquainted with today's twist. And on the inhale, press down with that foot. We're going to open all the way up into a starfish, gently reaching in all directions and just gently sway here. You're a wiggly starfish. And you can reach out through your fingers. You can curl your fingers. You can bend your knees. We're exploring reaching in all directions. Take one more inhalation here. Lower the arms as you lunge to the other side and bring your hand or forearm as you did before. The free hand takes a gentle sweep, taking your chest and face with it. Wrapping around, remember, no strain, no strain. Let the eyes see, let the breath flow. And then press that foot down in the floor and rise up. On the next exhale, the arms are lowering, you're twisting, you're exhaling. On the inhalation, that foot, the, the leg that was bent, presses down. You rise up. Feel the energy through your feet, giving you lovely support and foundation as you find the freedom in your upper body. There's so much more opportunity for expression and lifting 
when we have a good stable base that we can really trust. Now it's easy to see and feel how we can reach energy out through the fingertips, but can you also imagine that you're shooting energy down through the feet? So the starfish rays also go down through the earth as they go up through the hands. So it's almost like from the center of your body, you're radiating out into all of your appendages. And let's do one more flow on our own timing. Just feeling. I lied, we're going to do one more with the feeling that you're moving through warm, comfortable water. You're a starfish extending, even if that means you want to wiggle a little bit, you're fluid, you're supported. Maybe you feel a tiny bit of comfortable resistance as well as support from the water. And this time finish by lowering the hands, rising the spine. Bend the knees, step the feet together. Soften the knees, hands are cupping a ball of light. Inhale, the ball of light expands all the way around you. Exhale, you relax, bending the knees. Inhale, the light continues to expand all the way around you, now borrowing light from the sky and the sun and the stars and exhale, pouring, sifting clarifying. Anything heavy, old, just pours out through the soles of the feet, settling the energy, and then folding one hand on top of the other, rising to your beautiful, radiant, vertical alignment. Feel that connection to the ground through your refreshed feet. Allow the suspension, the rising up that lovely vertical lightness all the way through the crown of the head. Relax through the shoulders. Let the breath flow and notice how you feel. Do you feel more aware of your feet? Are there other parts of your body that have woken up? How does your breath feel? What's your energy like? Just a couple of suggestions, but allow whatever your experience is to be felt by you, because no one knows your body as well as you do. And enjoy this experience of being alive today. Many blessings, blessings, dear friends. Thank you so much for joining in, for your time, your attention. And I hope that these practices give you a sense of ease and a sense of coming home to yourself, especially in these challenging times. We'll see you next time. Many, many blessings.